Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use a very simple slip roller. This one right here. <clears throat> so slip rollers work on a very simple idea where you put a flat piece of steel in between a three roller system and then by rolling it back and forth and applying pressure with the center roller you curve the material. So you'll need to mount your slip roller firmly to your work surface. Then you'll need to take your piece of material that you intend to roll. This is a piece of 12 gauge, um, about an inch and a half wide. And you'll need to clean off the edges. That is so that when it's going through the rollers, you don't scratch the rollers. And so to begin, you'll have to lower the adjuster bolts most of the way down, and then you can put your work piece in. So then you can begin to tighten the adjuster bolts. For using this smaller model, you will need uh, a 9 16 wrench. It works better if it's the ratcheting type or a regular ratchet. So, snug up your adjuster bolts and then visualize it either this way or with the height such that they're even. So then, you should tighten it moderately snug. Then you begin to roll it back and forth. Make sure to roll it back and forth or through the rollers completely before you tighten the adjuster bolts any further. So here I am rolling it through and it does not appear to have put very much curve onto it. So I'm going to tighten them 180 degrees or half a rotation. Okay. So when you're going the other way, you have to switch to the other side. You'll see that I stopped about as far as you can go with this material. If you go any further, this piece of material will slide down in the crack. So now that you've gone through, um, raise your adjuster bolts 180 degrees, and then roll it back through. So now you can obviously see the curve starting to happen. Again, Stop it about as far in there as you can without it popping into the center of the rollers. And then continue racing. Now I'll switch to a regular ratchet on this side. So now I'm going to go 180 plus 90 degrees because it's going relatively smoothly. The amount you adjust it can vary depending on how well it's going. There's 180 and then 90 degrees more. Sometimes it helps to have multiple wrenches. So now I'm going to go a full turn and see how difficult that is. So half a turn and then half a turn. And then every time you go to roll it the other way, because all of these are right-handed thread bolts, you have to switch sides. Half. 
full turn this time. And there you have it. You can see that I went a little bit too tight based on the size of my material. As with all slip rolling, you will have a flat section on the end. I find it easiest to use an angle grinder to cut that off. And then you can continue rolling and decreasing your diameter. And in order to remove the piece from the roller, you'll take note of these little flats right here. So you'll take a screwdriver and push it in here, which will kind of bind the roller. And when you apply pressure on that, then you will be able to take a wrench and remove this bolt out of here. And removing that bolt and the same one on the other side will allow this whole roller to come out. And then you can take this piece off. And that's all for today.